Okay, hello all you guys. I'm here today with my feeding channel. I just want to show you the trades that were true that I analyzed on uh, 28 April. So that's uh, this is the 40 day. This is the 40 day was the holding day. So we just want to check if they worked out or they did it. Okay, so let's get it on. So here we are, I'm looking at the AU, uh, gold CAD, gold versus Canadian dollar. Let's see, I took a short position here. Let's see how it played out. Here we are. Let's see how they played out. Okay, here we are, we're killing the game, we are in profit. We're still holding though, here we improve the room so that we can get out. But this one is sort of a sensitive area here. Let me move on to the next one. The next one is um, gold versus euro. Took a short position as well. Took a short position here. And uh, let's see what's happening. Yes, we're killing the game here, according to our analysis. Market is still going down. And then we move on to gold pound. Gold versus pound. Uh, took another short as well. Took a short position here. Yeah, it's down to 12%. percent okay, let us see. Let's see. Yes, we're still killing the game. We are making some money. We are in profit. And then we go on to gold versus yen. Gold versus yen. Here we are, it's done 1.3, 103%. Oh, it's quite nice, yes. We are still holding it, it's moving so nice, we're in profit. Then we move on to NSD, USD, New Zealand dollar versus Australian dollar, versus USD dollar. I took a short position, but uh, it was a lot of trade, this one. This trade was not a proper trade, this one. Not the necessary one. It's too early to take a short trade here. Take a short trade here. Okay. But the thing is coming down, but I got stopped out. I did got stopped out. That was a loss. Then we move on to the next one. Okay, so we're moving on to the first page. First page. Where is it? Okay, here is the first page. Then we go down here. Then we move look at the NSD cat. NSD cage. Take a short position here. Let's see how it played out. Okay, okay, I got stopped out here. I got stopped out. That was a loss. Then move on to West Texas soil. Took a long position. Let's see how it played out. Mm, how it played out. Okay, so it moved up, then it's moving down, but you are still in profit though. Still in profit. I think I can zoom. You can see I took my, my buy here. Then move in here. Then we will see what's going to happen. Okay. Then we move on to the next one. Next one is what? Move on to the next one is copper. Copper, I took a long position. Copper, I took a long position here. Took a long position on copper. Then I got stopped out there. Then I got stopped out. Okay. Now we are on 30. It's the trade that I took on 30. Okay, good one. Okay, so I think we are done here. I think we are done here. We are done here. Yes, we are done. We are done. We are done. And there's this this this, this trade here, Pradia. Pradia is so nice. You know, I analyzed this chart a long time ago. I analyzed the short trade on a, on a monthly. So that was on first of April, as you can see here. 
for the 6th of April. Took a short position here. Then I get out somewhere here. As if I can show you the, what is the time frame. Okay, you see me that I'm somewhere close here. Okay, thank you very much, guys. This is Danny C. Mawiri in the in with the trades that I took on 28 and 30, and most of them were girls. And we made some money, we were patient enough to hold them. So that's what it is. It's all about probability and certainty. So just manage your risk and the reward. Then you stick the plan to the plan. That is trading your plan and planning your trade. Then the rest will take care of itself. That's its losses and the profits. As long as you are more patient enough, you are more disciplined. Especially as a swing trader, I don't just check check my trades every now and then like scalpers or deal traders i just put my trades once a day then i'll manage them or they on the road uh, during the day i don't even check them just do whatever i want especially nowadays i'm reading the bible i'm reading winner stands alone let me show you the book that i'm reading now this one this book see winners stands alone winners stands alone traders stick to their strategy that's what they are trying to say traders stick to a strategy they don't listen to anyone speech opinion yes they manage risk they take trades according to their plan to their strategy that's how they work that's one of the best books that i'm reading now for only two days from almost uh i think it's almost um 10 percent gone 10 percent books are so nice books are so nice books are so nice and uh, there's the other one. Let me show you another one as well. This is the other one that I'm reading here. Yeah. Daily splashes of joy. Daily splashes of joy. It motivates you. It tells you you have to always look, look, look life generally in life. Like be positive. Look at the positive things life. That brings to you those are hugs, kisses, calls, texts, good nights, you know, those texts like, uh, you know, love you, love you more, it teaches you about it. And today I read about the thing like it was, uh, they went out to buy some coffees and stuff, then the waiter took away their 20 bucks and they said, you know what, you didn't pay. And they paid twice. And you know, the man was freaked out, he wanted to shout and delay. And the waiter, but the, man, the lady just said, you know what, take it very cool. Let's put it this way. There's this other money that we just picked up the other day and we didn't work for it. So the lady just said, that's the $20 money. We didn't work for it. So it's fine. Such is life, you know. Let's keep it in this way. So guys, this is my training journey. This is my third year doing this thing. This is my third year doing this thing. I started making money in my second year. That's last year, early last year, that's when I started being consistent, making money, making money, making money. And now it's making some sense, you know, especially with this COVID virus. I'm now um, I'm, I'm now uh, making some withdrawals, like, like especially the day before yesterday, I made, I made a withdrawal so that, you know, so that I can pay my bills, buy my grocery, do whatever I want, buy my data sending to my mom providing for my parents providing for the loved ones you know but it's been a hell of a way i used to blow accounts like each and every week each and every week i used to blow accounts but they were not that those big accounts you know those 50 dollar accounts 30 dollars 35 100 bucks 200 bucks but in those two years i think i lost about 40k 40,000 in one of my accounts. That was the hellest account that I lost money. But now I'm bringing back that money. I'm, I think I'm almost, uh, I think I'm, I've gone almost uh, 70%. I've recovered 70% of that money. That 40K, I've recovered 70% of it. Then when it comes to uh, these other accounts, these other accounts are small, you know, because I use so many brokers, so many brokers. I've got three accounts with FXCM, bought Forex, I've got two accounts, XM, I've got an account with them. Then on binary, we are trade the synthetic um, um, indices, I've got two accounts. 
and those ones are the ones which are paying very well. So thank you very much, guys, for watching my video for today. That is that for today. It's a Dariba boarding, so they say, you know. So don't forget to like, share, uh, comment, and also hit the subscribe, subscribe button. That's the sub button so that whenever I produce a video, you will watch it. Thank you. See you in the next time. Will come, will come, will come, will come, will come. Thank you.